okay, you're branding or rebranding your company and you have the colors you want to use, but now you're looking for some fonts. How do you find fonts? How do you install fonts? It is actually super duper easy. I'm going to show you how in this. So if you go to D-A-F-O-N-T dot com, da font dot com, there are plenty of unique fonts there. Of course, there's other sites, but this is the one that I always revert to because I love the fonts here and most of the fonts are here. So um, you really do want to look at your font, font pairings and, and pick fonts that actually match. But we're just going to pick a couple of different fonts and download them and I'll show you how to install them. I actually like this bakery one so I'm going to click on download. Okay, There's different ones up here, cartoons, it's different categories. So if you kind of know or have an idea of what you want, you can choose there. What I love is I can actually preview the text. So if I put Nina Simone Consulting, and I want 100 fonts at a time, you could show different variations. You could have the different size. Click on Submit. Now it will show my actual text that I'm going to use so I can see if it's a font that I want. So I actually want a script font. I'll choose, let's look at a brush font. So then you can actually go through and look at the brush fonts. Maybe I like this one. Maybe I like that one. Okay. And you also want to choose maybe a bold font. Um, do a basic, maybe sans serif. Okay, and it t shows you the different variations, which I love. And I'm just going to click on download. One thing you want to do is you do want to look on the right-hand side and see what the um, license usage is. So this one's 100% free, free for personal use. If it says that um, for commercial use, you have to pay. You um, After you download it, usually there's instructions or there's a note file in there that gives you more information. I'm just going to show, usually there's a Word document or a note file that tells you how to pay for your font or how to give credit to the creator. Okay, now that we have our fonts downloaded, to install you basically just double click on the TIFF file, the TTF file, and click on install. If you're using an online uh, graphic creator like Canva or PicMonkey or anything like that, you will have to close all of your bra browsers in order for it to show up. Sometimes I've even had to reboot. Same thing with Word, PowerPoint, things like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, if you are uploading this into a system such as Canva, you do have to extract the zip file. So let's do that now. Now, here are my zip files that were downloaded for my fonts. Um, I am on a PC. If you're on a Mac, you should be able to double click it. If you're on a PC, you should be able to double click it to, to actually see what's in the folder. But to extract, you can right click and you'll see extract all. I'm just going to extract it here. And you see the files. So you want to do that for each one. The reason being is if you are uploading this into a system, you are not going to be able to see the files that are inside of this zipped file until it's unzipped. Zipped files are kind of like a suitcase. Everything's zipped up and you can't access anything until you open it up and put it all out on the bed. Okay. So each of those are extracted. And now I can use my fonts to upload into web services or anything I'd like. But again, if you just need to install it on your computer, you just double click. And so did you like that video? All you have to do to see more videos like that is one, like that video, and then subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified as I get more tutorials. Or if you'd like to ask about a doing a tutorial, go ahead and leave a comment in the box. Hello. And I'll respond and let you know if we're going to add it to our list.